Welcome back. Today we review Wreck-It Ralph from 2012 for this week's Harry Movie Club. So Wreck-It Ralph, the story in general, is really all about acceptance. Ralph, played by John C. Riley, is a bad character in his game because he is the one that has to uh, wreck the building, which Fix-It Felix fixes. Fix-It Felix is played by Jack McBrayer. Uh, he's from 30 Rock. You can really tell from his voice who it is, but it had been hard for me to pinpoint his name. So the story really is about uh, Ralph. He feels like he's underappreciated and uh, now wants to be accepted. So it is like the general acceptance story. It had been the 30th anniversary of uh, Fix-It Felix Jr., which is the game that Ralph stars in as the bad guy. And at the time, Felix is having like a penthouse party, and Ralph doesn't get invited. He just goes home to his dump for that night. Which, the movie does kind of like make you feel definitely sympathetic to Ralph, because I think everyone probably has felt unaccepted, and if you haven't, then you're pretty lucky. So Ralph is told by Jean, who I guess owns the penthouse, that if he can get a gold medal, he can then own the apartment, because only the people that have medals are supposed to be on the top, and the bad guys, which you can see in the cake, end up just in the mud. Ralph sets out on this journey, and along the way he meets Vanellope. She's played by Sarah Silverman. Vanellope is a glitch in her game. She is in Sugar Rush, which is like a race racing game. I th really think the Sugar Rush land area was kind of too sweet for me. Like, actually, Ralph gets like a cupcake, or, um, yes, yeah, a cupcake. Ralph gets a cupcake on him, and I don't know, at that point I thought that it was too sweet to be serious, and it just irked me. But it does make for like a really good kids movie, I'd say. And throughout the time, it's definitely, I'd say, a surprising conclusion. The movie does have great voice acting, and the animation is great. They kind of switch between the old style. You can really see in the animation for the older games, they kind of skip a little frames, so it looks like the old animation style. And then they do also get the high def. We have Jane Lynch in here, speaking of high def, as Calhoun. She ends up being like the Felix love interest. She's Jane Lynch. And the Calhoun, I think, is one of the best renderings of the voice actors because she looks, I'd say, a lot like Jane Lynch. And it's, Jane Lynch steals the show for me. She always is a great person, uh, I think, in every film she does. Role models with helping hands. Is it helping hands or happy hands? I'm going to have to watch role models now. Uh, but Jane Lynch just steals the show. I would say Wreck-It Ralph for me is a delete. I had seen it once before but didn't really remember much. I remembered that I hadn't totally enjoyed it. This time through I'd, I'd say I enjoyed it but the story is rather not original. The visuals and effects they are great and the sound design is perfect and the way they kind of like transport between games and do end up making sense of it is good but I don't really feel like I need to watch this again. I thought it was a great self-contained movie. I looked it up though and I guess there's a Wreck-It Ralph 2 in production. They promised I guess a Mario uh, appearance. So today we review Wreck-It Ralph and it was for this week's Harry Movie Club. If you want to check out the other Harry Movie Club responses definitely click the annotation here. It is Mr. Harry Britt's channel and every Tuesday he puts together all the uh, video submissions for it using hashtag Harry Movie Club and you'll be found. And then he tells us what movie to watch next week. And next week I think it's going to be Wimbledon. We'll find out. So thanks for watching. Today we review Wreck-It Ralph. If you have any comments, definitely leave them below. You can reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. Use hashtag today we review along with your tweet to assist. And uh, until then, thanks for watching.